Hello there everybody, this is Larry Kirshner here from Black Light Attractions and I am here to make another video of our pirate adventure Black Light Mini Golf right here at Piccadilly Palace. And I wanted to let you know that we have invited clients to come out and visit us here in St. Louis. And if you come out and visit us here in St. Louis, we can show you a version of retro golf, we can show you our escape rooms, and we can drive you over here which is only about, uh, you know, about 40 minutes from our factory to come see the Piccadilly Palace's uh, Pirate Mini Golf. So, we just finished installing a brand new facade for this attraction. It's not completely done, but we're going to show it to you and give you a tour of this attraction. We've also uh, included some new CGI effects that we've never put in a Pirate Mini Golf. So we're going to take a look at this. And here is a facade for the Pirate Mini Golf. A couple things that we're going to do yet is we're going to paint this door, we're going to paint this slot where they're going to hang their golf clubs, and they're going to put black lights over it. Now one of the reasons why it's so lit is because of that door right there, and it has to be tinted. But we're going to send our painters over here and we're going to paint some bricks down, some, some stones and stuff around the top, and then on the side we're going to paint the doors in the backdrop. And then the client's going to get their golf balls, their golf clubs, and everything else. Now, one of the cool things about this facade right here is that some of our mini golfs have pre-shows. And as you can see right here, this particular mini golf will have a pre-show literally built into the facade itself. This is an absolutely beautiful pre-show, completely made in CGI. And here's the funny part about this, and it will show highlights of the mini golf. And so as you can see right here, it'll show you what the interior looks like. Um, and then that's another CGI that's actually featured inside the golf. But every time that we uh, do a new mini golf, if it's radically different, we'll shoot footage and we'll update this video. So it more reflects your mini golf. Now, let's go inside and take a look at this beautiful, beautiful mini golf. And I'm gonna just talk about some of the highlights of our company opposed to other companies. Now, in the past, we have built like facades like this. Uh, but we decided to make two brand new CGI effects. And these are called shadow effects. Up there you see two pirates having a sword fight, for example. You see them up there? So when you come into this first room, and I want to make sure that we're really clear, what we try to do with every mini golf that we do is tell a story. And this mini golf has, I believe, six or seven rooms, and we'll count them down as we go through. But you'll see that they're inside a pub, and the curtains are down, and this is what's going on inside the pub. There's some drinking, there's some laughing, and then up here there's a little bit of fighting. And then we have the mini golf itself. So let's take a look. One of the things that really stands out on this particular mini golf is you'll see this edge. And then we paint it over the top of that edge. This client paid extra to have more of an ultimate version. And they also have a really high ceiling, so we were able to come in here and add a lot more artwork to the mini golf. One of the things you'll notice too is that we went ahead and painted their doors for them, which looks really nice. And here you have a raised hole where you put up and around this fiberglass prop that's carrying a barrel. Now, in the previous video that we made, you did not see this painted extension of this facade. So we've gone in and we've painted this extension right here on this. And what this is, is this is just a photo op. To stand up here, turn around this direction and have your guests, uh, your the people that are in your party, take a, a video or a photo, or if you're making a reel. And look how beautiful this is. So the first room, the whole idea here is that you're in like Tartuga and the pirates are loading 
their equipment, they're doing what pirates do before they uh, set sail on their pirate adventure. So as you can see, we're at two CGI effects and we're only in the first room and we have two fiberglass props. Another thing that we like to do for all of our mini golfs is have a lot of uh, authentic props as well. We have crates, we have barrels. As you can see, all the crates, all the barrels. And there we go. So now we enter room number two, which is supposed to be the interior of the ship. As you can see, you're being attacked by sharks, busting through the hull. You have another raised hole. And this hole is where the ball will come out of that hole and it'll drop down onto the, onto the, uh, the cup. These are natural obstacles that we install. They're plates because the pirates are messy. There's a crate. We painted all these murals of pirates. And then what do we have here? Another CGI effect. we have another fiberglass prop with more natural obstacles on the ground and as you can see another fiberglass prop we scan over this way and what do we have but yet three more CGI effects with lots of natural props and this one is just sitting out in the middle of the room to make the room look more natural. We got these lobster cages from Florida, and the whole idea of this CGI effect is you've got the captain steering the ship through a storm, and he tells, and he highlights part of the storyline of the attraction. That, you're going to sail some rough seas, but we're gonna find that treasure one way or another. So this is room two, and here's room three. The whole idea here is that there was a pirate battle that's going on with other pirate ships or the British, whoever you wanna say. This is the backside of the ship, that's why you have portholes. And you can see the artwork has been extended over eight feet tall. And you have two more fiberglass props. You have natural obstacles on the floor. These are supposed to be cannonballs. And look how beautiful the artwork is here. Now we are in room four. And one of the things that we've done here in room four is to make it almost seem like it's two rooms because we build this big ship that makes you not be able to see the other side. We want you to discover uh, new adventures here in the golf. Now, this is the first hole, and you've got another fiberglass prop. And now you're underwater, you're basically in the ocean near Atlantis. And you can see another fiberglass prop just literally hanging out on the side of the ship. And another one, a manta up there. <laughs> Sound everywhere. And then here is another hole and then you have another CGI effect here's another raised hole and look at the artwork now one of the things I want to mention is all of our artwork is in 3d so if you were to purchase 3d glasses and look at the great incredible awesome obstacles that we put on the floor but if you use 3d glasses and they have to be a certain kind, chroma depth 3D glasses. All of this artwork will be in 3D. And check this out. Look at that big great white shark. And then there's another 3D prop, fiberglass prop right there. And then there's another one there. Nobody, nobody, no manufacturer of black light mini golf builds these as detailed as we do. Nobody puts as much into them as we do. And you're probably wondering how we do that. Well, our background was building 
elaborate dark rides, haunted houses, tourist attractions for tourist towns. We've worked for pretty much every theme park you can think of. When we got into the Family Fun Center business, we brought something to the table that these companies that literally just take your money, pump it out as fast as they can, as quickly as they can, they want to get paid as much money as they can, they'll discount, 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 of course they will because they don't put anything into the golfs. Literally, most of these companies, we could build the exact same thing as them for a third, a fourth of what we charge to build our mini golfs because they're so basic. Let me tell you what is the most important thing with a Blacklight Indoor Mini Golf is that they're photogenic and that there's a lot of places to take photos or make reels. These people will literally promote your attraction for you when they're in here making TikToks and Instagrams. And that's exactly what will happen when you buy them from us. That is what we call a cutout topper. You can see the palm tree goes up to the eight foot line, which is right here. And then it has a topper. And then this is the CGI effect of Poseidon. Now we're gonna add a sound bar to that so you can hear it. And do you know what this is? This is a photo op. So a golfer can sit there. And then there's your chick 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 chick, right? There's your picture. Literally someone can hang out behind the mermaid and take a photograph. Look at how beautiful our Blacklight Mini Golf is. And then there's this amazing loophole that we build by hand. People like when the ball does something fun. And then when we look at this hole, we'll see these shark cutouts that we've made. And then there's another fiberglass prop. And now you have literally left the ocean and you are now going on to Skull Island. Now you're in room number five. And I'm telling you, if you get those black, uh, 3D glasses, the artwork in here is stupid. You literally tell the customers it enhances the experience, and it does. You have to see this with 3D glasses. It's stunning. So we built the boat, you put through the boat, and you got an, uh, uh, a female pirate here. And look at how stunning the artwork is. And then you can see on this hole we have molded and poured these alligator obstacles for the ball. And then this was built by hand. This uh, like ruin, Mayan ruin, Inca type of temple. You'll notice that this is raised out. See, I can touch those skulls. This is all done on a CNC machine, including these. You can see there, this is 4D texture. So now, we're going into room six. This is the last room, the last hole. This is where the pirates have buried their treasure. You'll see that we've built this like wall off the wall to make it look like ruins and you see animals looking through where the holes, where the bricks are missing. And we have yet another fiberglass prop, more obstacles and a photo op right here for them to put their heads in. And you can see we painted the artwork up. And then this is a really cool ending CGI effect. And this is on a timer. It just goes off like every couple of minutes. And it's of a pirate, the pirate captain. He, you have found out that he has fooled you into going on this pirate adventure with him. And he's trying to steal the treasure. He overloaded the little escape boat and he sank and a shark ate him. 
And look at this artwork. Here it goes again. Let's see. And look at the artwork here, folks. Now, before I end this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about some common questions that get asked of me about us building you a Blacklight Mini Golf. You can go to my website at blacklightattractions.com and get my phone number and just give me a call. It's pretty much that simple. Blacklightattractions.com. So the way that we build the mini golfs is you call us, you tell us how many square feet you have and what kind of budget you're working with. Every attraction that we build is based on you know, your budget and the square footage and the theme that you want. Most of the mini golfs include all the shipping. We actually come and install it. And all of these interior walls to make all of these different rooms, we supply those, we install those. Most of our competitors, I should say basically all of them, have no interior walls whatsoever. Now when you do the interior walls, you're literally creating, like, I don't even know, it's like five, 700% more work that has to be done. More painting, seven to 800% more painting, more artwork, more effort. And some of these people charge the same price as us, which is obscene. And there's a lot of things we don't do. One of the biggest gimmicks that I've seen in the business is having lit up holes around. And then I talk to people and people stand on them and they break them. It's a gimmick, it looks dumb. In my opinion, it looks terrible. These are tongue and groove bricks and people can stand on them. We try to build attractions that your customers won't destroy. The, one of the biggest differences between us and our competitors is we actually own and operate a mini golf. We have one of the 10, top 10 best escape room facilities in the entire world. We run haunted houses. We understand operation, they don't. So we're not gonna put something in your mini golf that's just gonna break in five minutes. And that's a big difference. But one of the reasons why we're able to do the kind of work that we do uh, for a price in many cases better than our competitors, we don't have the person who essentially designs them, you're talking to them. I'm not paying people to do that. We don't have paid salespeople. We don't have commissioned salespeople. We work for one client at a time and we build you the best attraction. So all of your money just literally gets put into the attraction. But I wanna highlight something for you. And we're gonna walk through a couple times. Let's start by counting how many fiberglass props are in this particular mini golf. One, two, and those are big. Those are big fiberglass props. There's two. There's three. Four, five. Six, seven. You'll also notice all of our fiberglass props are raised off the ground so golf balls can't hit them. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We're up to 16 so far, folks. Seventeen, right there. Eighteen with the treasure chest. And nineteen. This particular mini golf has nineteen CGI or nineteen fiberglass props. Now the next question is how many CGI effects does this particular oh wait a minute, I take that back. It's twenty because there's one right there. There's twenty fiberglass pieces in this mini golf. And this mini golf has a custom facade. Once again, that we will paint these doors. We're gonna do it tomorrow. We're gonna actually add some, extend some painting out. CGI effects, this has a pre-show. That's number one. Two, three. That's just CGI effects, so we're up to three. Four, five, six. 
Seven. Eight with the shark attack. Nine. <coughs> That's Poseidon. And there's 10. 10 CGI effects with that skull. Or with that, you saw, by the way, the golf ball hits it and reveals that he's trying to steal the treasure. That's 10. How many rooms? One. Two. I count a room as where it's completely surrounded by walls and artwork. Again, this is three. And all this is installed by us. This is four, that's five, and then they got the first room, which is six. Now, another thing I wanna mention, because this is asked. This artwork right here, and we're gonna get a closer look at it. You'll see a seam right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera, right here. Every one of these panels was painted in St. Louis. Which means, with a drill, they will come off the wall. Some of these companies are very ridiculously, I have to say ridiculous because it's just horrific. They go to Shutterstock, they pull some images off, and they print the artwork on stickers, and then that's your artwork, and they stick stickers on your wall. The artwork is lost forever, okay? Let's just hypothetically say you are closing this, this facility and moving to another one, or, you wanted to replace this attraction, or let's say you have multiple locations. You could take this attraction out, ship it to another place, and put a different attraction here. Because all of the artwork can be removed. Every single piece of the artwork in here is painted on very expensive MDF board. So once this attraction is installed, it can be uninstalled and resold, removed, and installed in another location. And that is another advantage of working with our company. Now, I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. And hopefully, we have shed some light on the differences between us and our competitors. You can contact us immediately through our website at blacklightattractions.com. You can get my phone number, drop me a text, give me a call, we'd be happy to work for you. Um, a couple other big differences between us and our competitors, aside from the fact that we create CGI effects, we've also done a lot of animatronics. We are building right now a Jurassic themed escape, uh, Jurassic themed mini golf for a client, and we are gonna be providing animated velociraptors. Our competitors do not do this. If you come to my haunted house in St. Louis, which is considered one of the best in the world, it has 150 animatronics. So we understand animatronics. We understand special effects. We understand CGI effects. We understand theming, and that's what we do. We build every attraction like we own it, and we care about every, every client that they get the best attraction possible. When trying to pick a theme, we often try to videotape new attractions that we've built so that you, the customer, can watch on our YouTube page a lot of these videos that we've made. Here's the funny thing. None of my competitors will do what I'm doing here today. I challenge them all the time, I will challenge them once again, to go walk through an attraction that they built like I'm doing because one of the things a lot of customers ask for is where have you installed a mini golf? Where can I go see one? And you know what I always tell them? You don't need to because I made a video. What am I hiding? I'm showing you everything. You're seeing the whole attraction. One of my competitors has a YouTube page where they show you 20 seconds of the attraction and then two 
goofballs talk on video for 30 minutes about why you should hire them in front of a green screen. We don't do that. This is down and dirty. This is me on the cuff just making a video and talking to you while I'm walking through this attraction. There's nothing to hide. I'm showing you everything. We did all of the interior walls. One of the common questions I get asked a lot is what don't you provide? Well, the client has to put, drill the cups into the ground. So you can see they've already done that here. On the raised holes, you don't need to drill anything. But the client has to drill the holes. The client also needs to get carpet and install that. We install the mini golf on top of your carpet. You have to have four perimeter walls that are flush. Now you'll notice they're not flush. We need a blueprint that shows us where this beam is, where this door is. Um, and you can see right here where this wall comes down and, it, and then it, you can see it, it hooks and comes back around. We need a blueprint that tells us all that. We don't need to do a site visit uh, to, to create a blueprint from you. All of this was done because you can see those are beams that hold up the ceiling. They come down. So we built something to frame it in. We need to know the ceiling height. We need to know the budget, the theme. We need to know your time frame, the city and the state, and your company name. Once we have all that information, we, from there, can give you a proposal. And you can go as crazy as you want with these golfs because, as I said, we can do anything. So when we did a wizard golf for a client in Branson, we installed a massive full-sized dragon that was on the, the last hole. We've installed full-size Tyrannosaurus Rexes on final holes. We have done custom animations, custom props, custom you name it. Each project that we do is custom for you, the client. And I can promise you that none of our competitors will do what I just did. And then if they did, then you would be able to compare apples to apples, and that's what, why they won't do it. But if you want to come to St. Louis, I'll be happy to bring you over here. If you're in Branson, Missouri, for example, we have a wizard golf there. If you're in Gatlinburg, if you're in Pigeon Forge, if you're in Orlando, I mean, it does not matter. We have built over 200 Blacklight Mini Golfs. We've been building them for 15 years. And we've also been building a lot of laser tags. Our laser tags are really second to no one. And we've put those videos on this channel as well. So where we have literally filmed and documented us installing them and then walking through them and showing you what they're like. So hopefully I've answered a lot of questions. And if you have more questions, just reach out to us. And we hope you liked the Pirate Blacklight Mini Golf. Um, and we hope to be building one for you very, very soon. So this is me, the uh, owner, um, signing off. And by the way, we're located in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, and the benefit of being located in St. Louis, Missouri is many times we can bring the mini golf to the client rather than shipping it. So literally we show up with the golf and install it. But it's all, you know, depends on where you're located. But being in St. Louis, we're close to pretty much everywhere. We do build mini golfs internationally. We can pretty much build them anywhere in the world. So thank you once again from Piccadilly Palace. Uh, please come check this out anytime you're in or near St. Louis and visit our website at blacklightattractions.com.